Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. I'm so honored. You've caught me at a great time. As you can see, we've got the Thor Magnitude, Trudy, all loaded up, hooked up, got white lightning strapped to the rear. We're ready to hit the road on a mega adventure, for, for us anyway. We're currently in North Texas. We're gonna hit the road and drive a thousand miles one way, but not in all, all in one day. We're gonna park hop to North Carolina and then park hop our way home. So right now, we're prepared to depart and head to Arkansas and visit the Gray Lake Iron Mountain Campground. It's a Corps of Engineer campground on, on, on the Gray Lake. So let's get on the road and let's go to Iron Mountain Campground. Gray Lake, Iron Mountain Campground. What a, what a drive. But man, that, that right there, that, that was, that was, that was a nice drive. Check out this pretty park. Look at all these trees. Look at it. This is just so awesome. We're in site number, actually number 27. They put the markers kind of in a weird place. So right there, we're at number 27. This is a deep site. Not too difficult to get into. You know, it's gotta be mindful of the trees. Pretty good this way, side to side, but front to rear, we got some elevation going. We had to put her up on some blocks to get the back end up high enough to give us level. We are 30 and 50. No water. Good thing I filled up before we left town. We have a charcoal cooker and looks like it's in really good shape. A round concrete table. The ubiquitous lantern hook. We must have one of those and a concrete table. This is a Corps of Engineer campground. D. Gray Lake is a Corps of Engineer, U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Lake. Look at the view. Oh, we have a fire pit. Somebody left their trash in the fire pit. Slobs, pigs. You can see the lake down there. It's, it is late in the day. 
June 26, 2021. In case you're wondering, June 26, 2021. Too late in the day to start running around looking at stuff. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Right now, I'm gonna enjoy a peach. <laughs> All right. Y'all stay tuned, more to come. Well, I couldn't just sit around and wait. I, I had to get on the scooter and go somewhere and do something. Iron Mountain Campground has got some of those swings from back in elementary school. The swing as high as you can and jump as far as you can. Broken bones, never mind. It's also a play structure. This is over by the the East Camping Loop. All right, let's see what else we can find. Clockwork orange, that'll probably kick your butt. They don't identify whether any of them are simple, challenging, easy, hard. There's only hiking and biking. No horses, no motorcycles, no ATVs. So bring him bring him out and bike. Bring your electric mountain bike. Go for a ride. All right. Let's go find some more stuff. So if you're passing through the area around DeGray Lake, or if you're staying at it, want to stay at DeGray Lake, you might be interested. This is the lower lake. You can see the dam kind of, you probably, yeah, you see that, that spot right there? That's the dam for DeGray Lake. And this is the lower lake. Check this out. The Corps of Engineers has done a nice job setting up a peaceful respite. We sit down here in the sport swing. It's actually a boat ramp it's on the low for the lower lake. Nice little picnic table, picnic area. All right. You might be able to dry camp here. Just saying. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you decide to visit Iron Mountain, Camp Iron Mountain Corps of Engineer Campground, that's over there somewhere. 
and you want to access the water, there's, there's not a whole lot of opportunity to access the water at the Iron Mountain Campground. But if you get back out on Highway 7 and go across the dam, there's the Highway 7 day use area, which is where we are now. There's a beach. There's actually, there are actually two beaches, a playground and restrooms. No camping here, but it's, it's free to use for day activities. So you can do some fishing and some swimming. Let's go see some more stuff. Oh, I'm camped at Iron Mountain on De Grey Lake. And on the map, there's a, a lake view area that you see identified. Well, this is, this is the view from the lake view area. It's not, there's not much other than this at the end of this road. And you really don't have a whole lot of lake view. But the marina is right there, so we're camped over there. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Stay tuned, more to come. Of the, the lake view area, and we saw we saw through the trees this structure. We're like, well, what, what is that? And I roll up, and I'm like, oh man, this is this is an, an ADA handicap accessible fishing dock. And then I get over here, and I see that it's sitting with quite a bit of disrepair. I don't even know if I should be walking on it. But what caught my attention? So, I mean, look at this. Great big long dock. And I see this. No fishing. Well, what is the point? of this beautiful little structure if there's no fishing allowed <laughs> what's a black wild blackberries going there anyway let's go see what else we can find let's go see some more stuff here at de gray lake if you're if you're camping at iron mountain and you're bringing your boat this is the boat ramp that you'll be using it's the public boat ramp you can see it's a it's a very popular one three laner at least but what caught my attention is they've got a, a reader board telling you what's happening never seen one of those before all right let's let's go find some more stuff
So camp, we're camped at Iron Mountain, and we were, we're out running around, as you just saw, and on our way back, I, I saw a visitor center, a Corps of Engineer visitor center. So we're gonna go take a quick tour through there. I've never seen a Corps of Engineer visitor center. Oh, this taxidermy wildlife. Apparently the bees are temporarily removed. Oh, looky there. That's cool. Well, it talks about the lake features in the rock. In the dam. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Bear claw. I think we've pretty well seen it all. All right, let's go take a look outside. All right, we're gonna come over here to some better observation point. We don't have the glass in the way. We can actually see down the very bottom. That's pretty cool. I'm getting hungry. Let's let's go back and eat some lunch. Back to camp. Well, that brings us to the end of our visit to Village Creek. Not Village Creek. That's where we're headed tomorrow. Well, it, we've come to an end to our visit to Iron Mountain Corps of Engineer Campground on De Grey Lake. To sum it up, and the reason this is the end is there's rain in the forecast, so we'll be leaving early tomorrow might not have an opportunity to close it out but to sum up our visit to iron mountain it's a nice little nice little campground for us for a corps of engineer campground this is on par with what you find in most of your corps of engineers uh, it's it's a little bit dated there's no water so you need to plan ahead for that but there are facilities and they're they're although they're dated they're clean and they're serviceable. Everything there works. Now your sites, I would recommend you calling the, the park office before you start making your reservations on reservation.gov because the, some, some of these sites are really tough to get level with a larger motor home. Now with a, with a trailer, it'd be less of an issue, uh, but still it, it doesn't hurt to, to know what you're getting into. 
watch the the virtual tour video that I'll be posting so that you you can get a better idea of what the campsites are going to look like um, it's a nice little park it's really quiet for the most part occasionally you hear a boat but there's not a whole lot of road noise sorry I've got a bug occasionally you hear a boat but there's not a whole lot of road noise I've seen lots of wildlife while we've been here for the the last 24 hours so I, I would recommend you come to this one it's definitely a destination because there's so much to do right here around the gray lake it's also a fantastic waypoint because it's just a short drive off of i-20 i'm sorry i-30 it's just a short hop up from i-30 a great place to spend the day recuperating from your drive all right we're gonna be rolling out of here early in the morning so i'm gonna close it out now if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd truly be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you i'm so deeply honored that's why i get to come to these great places and camp and explore thank you for that and for my patrons you guys rock y'all come back now you hear